The government's expected to rest its case tomorrow against former Governor Bob McDonnell and his wife Maureen. The two were accused of taking more than $160,000 in loans and gifts from Johnny Williams, and in turn, McDonnell using the power of his office to promote Williams Company's products. Andy Fox was in court today and spoke with McDonnell and joins us from the newsroom. Yeah, Tom, the issue today was loans and whether McDonald failed to properly disclose them to Virginia Beach Mayor Will Sussum's bank and a credit union, all in an attempt to hide his relationship with Johnny Williams. Mayor Sessoms, what more will you say about the loans today? Arriving at federal court, Virginia Beach Mayor Will Sessoms said nothing. On the stand, he said a lot. That the Johnny Williams loans were written to Mobo LLC, McDonald's business he has with his sister, not to McDonald himself. And he did not need to report the loans on personal financial statements to Sessoms Town Bank. But because he did not personally guarantee the loan, did he have to report it? I think uh, you heard my stuff. Town Bank isn't the only bank not knowing about the Johnny Williams loans. The folks getting out of this van are with Pentagon Federal Credit Union. Nanette Bolt, seen here, says the McDonald's refinanced four properties and failed to disclose the loans to her. But once state police special agent Charles Hagan first questioned Maureen McDonald about the Johnny Williams loans, only then did Bob McDonald send in revised financial statements to Bolt showing the loans and the stock they owned in Williams' company. Bolt was asked to read aloud the financial statement Bob McDonald first filed with her credit union that did not include the Williams loans. It reads, I, we understand it is a federal crime punishable by fine or imprisonment to knowingly make a false statement on this form. Governor, are you putting yeah, Will Sessoms in a difficult position with what he's having to testify against his friend? Uh, no, we'll have uh, more testimony today. And uh, oop, this has got a long way to go. Now, part of the McDonald's defense is their marriage was falling apart. They weren't talking to each other and therefore could not possibly conspire against Williams. But in court today, it was revealed they were talking a lot, talking enough to make more than 300 cell phone conversations between 2011 and 2013 during the same period of time of the loans and gifts from Williams. The government will likely rest its case tomorrow. The jurors get a day off Friday and Bob McDonald begins his defense on Monday. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.